I'm Anil Kumar. In this video, we are going to explore perfect squares. Determine the value of k such that each trinomial is a perfect square. So we have these two questions for you. 4x square plus kx plus 9, we need to make it a perfect square. What are possible values of k? In this case, 9x square minus 12x plus k, what values of k will make this trinomial a perfect square, right? So when we are saying perfect square, it means what? It means that a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square, right? In case we have a minus b, then this term is negative, right? So clearly this is like a minus b whole square, that is a plus b whole square. You can pause the video, find the value of k, which will make these trinomials perfect square. Now let us see how to solve such a question. The first one is 4x square plus kx plus 9. 4x square could be written as 2x whole square, right? 9 could be written as 3 square. The center term is combination of these two with times 2. So 2 times 2x times 3, right? Times 3. So what do you get? So you get here 2x square plus 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 3 is 12, you get 12x plus, well, 3 squared is 9, right? So comparing, we know the value of k should be equals to 12. So we get k equals to 12 for part a, right? So that is the strategy. Now let's see how to find k in the second trinomial. Strategy in this case is kind of similar. So what we will do here is, we'll again write 9x squared as 3x whole square. Now k, so this could be written as, well, in this case, we can write this as square root k square. That is kind of critical. The center term here will be minus, minus is fine, 2 times, we know this is 3x, and this is square root of k, right? So that is what it is. Now comparing these two, what do we get? We get 2 times 3 is 6. We get 6 x times square root of k should be equal to 12x, right? 12x. Now that means square root of k should be equals to 12 divided by 6, right? x and x cancel out, correct? So which is 2? And that clearly gives you the value of k which is square of 2, right? So k will be 2 square or 4, right? So in this particular case, we get k as 4. So we have the solutions for both now. Here the k value is equals to 4 for us, and in this case, k is equals to 12. I hope that you understand the strategy, right? So remember, we need to do square root of this, write it as a square, and then follow the technique. I hope that helps. Thank you, and all the best.